Vaccinations by kscience.com To vaccinate someone, you must inject the person with a dead or weakened form of the pathogen. So that is really important. It's a dead pathogen or it is a inactive or weakened pathogen as long as the antigens are being injected into your body. So a dead pathogen or an inactive pathogen is injected into the patient. This will then stimulate an immune response. So the dead or inactive pathogen with the antigens on them that you want to immunize against, your lymphocytes will come along and they will then produce antibodies. They will then produce antibodies. The lymphocytes produce antibodies that will then bind the antigens. So these are going to be specific antibodies for that pathogen. So the lymphocyte here is going to produce antibodies. Antibodies are going to bind the antigen on the pathogen. So they're going to bind the antigen on the pathogen. The really important key word here is to say that the lymphocytes then turn into memory lymphocytes. So these lymphocytes turn into memory lymphocytes. They produce antibodies for that specific antigen. And these antibodies and the memory lymphocytes, okay, so both of them remain in the blood after the infection. So they remain in the blood after infection. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When you get a secondary infection of that pathogen, the memory lymphocytes in your blood will very quickly produce antibodies that will bind the antigens of that pathogen that you were vaccinated against. So the memory lymphocytes produce antibodies more rapidly and they kill the pathogens without symptoms. So these pathogens will then die and you will not get any symptoms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.